Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another video. Hopefully you are enjoying your day and in today's video, as you can see by the thumbnail, we're going to be looking at some crazy awesome most overpowered weapon i've ever seen in a call of duty and as you can see in the gameplay no it's not black ops 3 black ops 2 or even infinite warfare but it is call of duty online which is the chinese call of duty and if you have no idea what that is i'll basically be going through that at the end of the video for you guys if none of you know uh, exactly what type of call of duty chinese game this is but basically what this gun is is it's called the freedom now you can't really tell the name of the weapon because obviously it's in Chinese so I did a bit of research I had to look around it's actually called the freedom weapon and the most I can make out of it is that you actually have to pay to get this weapon in the game you don't have to buy supply jobs or anything you just buy the weapon apparently it costs 91 US dollars I don't actually know if it costs that I've just seen a few people commenting it around the internet however I'm not sure but that seems to be a steep price but when we go through what the weapon actually does you may actually change your mind so as as you can see in the weapon or what the weapon is um, it kind of looks like a wonder waffle to start off with and it's got a nice skin it kind of looks like Iron Man's armor but basically what this weapon does is it's a shotgun and a sniper rifle combined and to be honest this fixes two problems with two weapons I have in the Call of Duty series because to start off with you have a shotgun which is extremely good and overpowered at close range but the problem with the shotgun is is if that you go into medium range or long range the shotgun becomes useless because a you'll be getting hit markers or b the shotgun shells won't be long enough to actually reach your target and that is where the sniper comes in because you can actually transform this weapon into a sniper by looking down the iron sights basically and boom you can go for people on medium range and long range and it also fixes up the sniper situation because usually when i like quick scoping people you know it's quite decent at close range but obviously the sniper shines around medium range to long range where you can pick people off at a distance but if someone appears right in your face that's going to be annoying because you won't have enough time to switch to your secondary so that is where you can use the shotgun aspect of this weapon and go close range so basically if you want to enter out enter in a whole room or just enter in a room full of people use your shotgun and if you see someone across the map change to the sniper bit of this weapon and boom you basically have a functioning shotgun sniper in the game which is absolutely amazing so as I said before although this does look like uh, the wonder waffle in the game it looks really nice and it seems to me in this Chinese version of Call of Duty they seem to be breaking all the rules that the traditional Call of Duty has where it kind of stuck to normal weapons but uh, since through Black Ops 3, they're kind of broken away from that because obviously they have the Fury Song Sword and X Shadow Claw. They have a bunch of random weapons they added in this year, which is kind of cool, but also a bit strange because obviously we have to pay through it through supply drops. And with the steep cost of this weapon, I'm not sure if 91 US dollars is really worth it. As I said before, it could be the real cost. It probably isn't. I'm not too sure, but I'll basically have to research for you guys that. Uh, but if you know the cost, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. So getting to it, what is Call of Duty Online in case you guys don't know? Basically in China they banned consoles from people. I guess they did that because a lot of people were getting addicted to it and a lot of people have uh, PCs or more or less good gaming computers in China to get around the console so the, they play games uh, on the PCs and what Call of Duty or Activision did was release a Call of Duty specifically for the Chinese market uh, because they don't have any consoles and because it's uh, tailored to the Chinese market it's only for PC and they can only access it however you can access it yourself through a VPN but it will be laggy unless you live around the Asia Pacific region but all in all it seems like a pretty good game because you have like Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, COD 4, all of that combined, especially with maps and killstreaks, making it pretty much the ultimate Call of Duty. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like button down below, it'd be greatly appreciated, and let me know what you think of this weapon down below, because it does look freaking amazing. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully you guys had a nice day, and I will catch you guys later, globe out.